Not to be dramatic, but it's debilitating. It's like a toxic relationship. This is a video, guys. Oh. <laughs> Living our best lives. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. This is the Road to London Marathon series. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all doing amazing. As most of you will know, I am documenting my training towards the London Marathon. We are officially seven weeks out. And typically, yeah, I'd pick you guys up on a Monday and take you along for my week of training. But if you watch last week's vlog, you will have seen me sign off the vlog saying I am incredibly sick. It is actually Wednesday today. I am still so unwell. I was only sick maybe a month ago and I was like, okay, that's fine. Let's give it, it gives me time to get over it, to recover, to be good for the rest of the training block, to be good for the marathon. And here we are a few weeks later, sick again. But this time my cough is that horrific and severe. Like I'm not even gonna talk too long because I'm gonna cough. My cough is that bad. Like I have not been able to train. So I haven't trained. I attempted to run last Friday, it didn't go well. Have not trained since. Apart from yesterday, I did a 30 minute session on the bike and a chill session of that. And even that was pushing it. Like I was struggling to breathe because I am generally just like my chest is just right now. I don't know what has happened, but it is so, I'm so sick in my chest. I feel fine otherwise. Had a few other symptoms earlier in the week. Did a COVID test, not COVID, but now I feel fine apart from my cough that is just debilitating. Not to be dramatic, but it's debilitating. So I haven't done really a lot of marathon training, which is not ideal seven weeks out. The good news is my coach program is somewhat of a deload week for me this week. So it came at a very good time. He doesn't call it that, he calls it like a chill week, which I love. Obviously that still was meant to involve some running and some training, but it's not looking good. The 30 minute bike ride yesterday kind of scared me because I was like, surely I can do that. Today I was like, if my cough's any better, I'll go do some strength training. It's not happening. At the very like best, I'm gonna try and do an easy run maybe on Friday. And that's if I can breathe because I'm telling you, I can't go more than a few minutes without having like a coughing fit right now. This week's vlog is gonna look a little bit different. It's probably not gonna be too training based because I can't really train at the moment. So it's actually gonna be a very fun, chill vlog because in a few days on the weekend, I'm going away to the Gold Coast with my two girlfriends, Rachel and Iz. If you've subscribed to my channel for a while now, you'll have seen I did a travel vlog with them. We went to the Hunter Valley together, the three of us. I can't even remember when. Yeah, I'm gonna vlog a lot of our trip together because the three of us just have so much fun together. We don't get to see each other very often because we all live in like really random parts of the state. So my friend Rach is down south, my friend Iz is up north, and I'm smack bang in Sydney. So we're heading to the Gold Coast this weekend. Really wanna be better for that. And I was also really looking forward to doing a run in the Gold Coast, cause the Gold Coast is flat. Like it'll be hot, but it's flat. So that's what you guys can expect this week. Now I've just been to the shops. I've just been grocery shopping. That is the level of effort I can do with my life at the moment to leave the house is to do grocery shopping. Couple of exciting things that I want to talk about. <laughs> before I switch off and die. Today, Ella and I are recording a podcast with a very special guest. We also recorded one yesterday with a special guest. Her name is Donna. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce her surname correctly. C-I-C-C-I-A. But she is the co-founder of Endometriosis Australia. Obviously, endo athlete endometriosis talk about it a lot something i battle with having endo raising awareness for endo raising funds for endo is all very important to me so it's really awesome that we could get donna on the podcast to kind of give some information and education around what endo is and tell her story and talk about endo australia and the work they're doing so that's gonna be an awesome episode so that will already be out when this video goes live so you should definitely check it out and speaking of endo australia they are the charity that i'm raising money for for the london marathon link is in the description box below if you'd like to donate just bring Briefly, Endo Australia, a lot of what they do is education, awareness. The money that you donate for me for the London Marathon training, that is going to support Endo Australia, trying to raise money to do more research around the disease because there's so much we don't know. We don't know what causes it. Like there's not an official treatment. We don't know, like it's, there's just so much we don't know. The work that they're doing is like truly, truly amazing. If you guys would like to donate, like that would be super appreciative. So many people have Endo, I think it's like one in nine. Obviously I'm one of them and it's it has such a strong impact on your life. Like I can't even begin to explain. If you know someone who has endo, like you'll get that. If you are feeling generous, please feel free to donate to my link. And if you'd like to know a little bit more, I highly recommend you listen to the episode with Donna, which is coming out on Friday, but will already be out. So I'll leave a link in the description box below to it. Oh my God, I'm already out of breath because I'm dying with my chest. So March is Endo Awareness Month, which is why I think this 
episode comes at a really good time. And then next week, I think I'm going to do like a little talk about my endo experience as well for the podcast. So yeah, that wraps that up nicely. I'm literally like dying. This is crazy. This is not ideal marathon training when you can't breathe while you're talking. I'm going to unpack my groceries that have just been sitting on the bench now for like 10 minutes. And then... I've got to edit yesterday's podcast so it's ready to come out on Friday. I am so close to finishing my Cert 3 for my PT. So if you don't know, your Cert 3 is the first step you have to do in, a, in order to obtain your PT qualifications. And once you have your Cert 3, that qualifies you as a group fitness instructor. That's how it is, at least in Australia. I'm not sure how that converts worldwide, but I'm so, so close to finishing. So I'd like to do a little bit more work on that today. And hopefully I can submit everything by the end of the week. And then one that's marked off. Fingers crossed we've passed and that's done. I can move on to the Cert 4. Anyway, guys. I'm gonna unpack this and then pass out on the couch for a little bit. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. I wasn't planning to vlog anything today as I'm off to work, nothing exciting. But I thought, why not have a little rant? <laughs> it's not even a rant. I just thought, why not, why not have a little chat? My least favorite thing about being sick is that it has bucked up my sleep again. And I had just gone to such a good pattern with my sleep it was like a toxic relationship after an on and off for so long it was so bad it was so bad for so long and then recently we had come good we had come good we'd become friends again i was getting to bed early and falling asleep no troubles it was magic like I, for so long i wasn't able to do that and now you know we got to a point where i could i could just go to bed i'd read and i'd fall asleep within like half an hour it was magic but now that I'm sick again, I'm back to not being able to get to sleep. And obviously having the cough, I lie there and then I cough. And then last night, I actually got to the point where I stopped coughing long enough to go to sleep, which was magic. But by the time I did that, it was quite late in the evening. And then I woke up at about 2.30 in the morning and had a little coughing fit for about half an hour. And then went back to sleep for about less than an hour before my alarm went off. So I'm running on three hours, 30 minutes sleep in total today. Touch wood, I actually don't feel too tired, but I know it's gonna hit me later. So that's my little rant for the morning. Love being sick, love not training, love being sick. Not. <laughs> Ready, you're good to go. Yeah, this morning's good to sit with me. I'll go back with mine. Oh, what? Come sit down. Sit down, what's the point? Come on, are you good to go? Come to mommy. Come on. You're so here. <laughs> and this is our orange juice to top it up, which seems very dangerous. <laughs> like, this is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> Rach, do you want to explain what happened? No, because I'm still traumatized. Yes, do you want to explain what happened? They came after us for being like one to two kilos over our baggage limit hit us with a $75 upgrade. Not good. Not good. Fucking Jetstar. So I have, I have so, so much angst. I've got so much angst against Jetstar. It's not funny. Dawn in. What is up everybody? We have arrived in the Gold Coast. I'm still sick. This is our little cute little place. How cute is that? So plan of attack. We are gonna go get some lunch at Pearly, 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 Pearly Path. And go for a little walkie walk. Go for yeah. a walkie walk. Maybe yeah. splish splash in the middle. Little splish splash? Are we gonna come back before we splish splash? I think so. Yeah. We're not gonna feel like splish splashing after a pub feed. That's very true. Yeah, right. come back. Stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. 
back. Happy Sunday. It is six o'clock in the morning. I've just gotten up and I'm gonna attempt to go for a run. We have my first run all week since being sick, so I'm a bit nervous. I did cough up a lung this morning. So I'm hoping I've got a lot enough out that I'll just through this morning. It's meant to be a nine kilometer run, but we'll just see how we go. I don't want to put pressure on myself. I want to be <laughs> like, I don't want to put pressure on myself, but ideally I'd like to do at least 5Ks. It's quite nice outside. It is meant to be like 22 already here in the Gold Coast, but it is quite nice outside. I've left the girls already awake somehow. One of them's going to do some work. I think the other one's just going to chill. And then afterwards, we're going to go get coffee. So I want to get this done to reward myself with coffee. Let's do some stretching and some warm up and let's go. Didn't go well. I did three kilometers and even that was some walking and coughing and like I'm so out of breath. <laughs> Look, first one, oh god, first run back. Quite difficult when you're still quite sick. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous though. The marathon is approaching quick. I can't be sick. But we got something done. Whew. And now it's time for a coffee. <laughs> Alright, so we are on the way. <laughs> we're on the way to Soak Bathhouse. And we're in a great Uber and we'll just use <laughs> Had two drinks and obviously it's hit. Loose. We're feeling yeah. we're feeling just very relaxed right now. We also haven't eaten a lot today. We, we have, have not like eaten a little <gasps> We've had croissant. croissant and some coffee. And so now we're just like killing some time up shopping before we do something fun this afternoon. It's yeah. a secret. It's a secret. Let's go salvos. Let's go salvos. Is there anything in the bag? Crutches? So we've had a slight change of plans. We are doing our fun little surprise thing now. Oh my god. So we're very excited. Ah. What was that, Rach? Snacks, yeah, love. Tiny teddies, iconic. Rachel, lucky last. Rachel, how do you feel about your feet being on the internet? I'm really excited if it's going to be in a butterfly. Thank you. Butterfly. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Going out to dinner with our matching tattoos. <laughs> can, 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 can we notice something? No, you guys would notice. But we are all wearing my dress tonight. We yes. have Rachel in the blue. Beautiful. <laughs> we have me in the white. Yeah. Beautiful. Twelve. Okay. Twelve. And we have the gorgeous Kelly in black. That really suits you. She's stunning. And She's her hair gorgeous. Is nice. Catch us later. We're heading off. Rach, good over here. Good morning, that was a yawn from Rachel. <laughs> it is our last morning in the Gold Coast. Sad. Sad. But we're off to go for a little walkie walk Dining. to get coffee and find an acai bowl. Quite a few places. In my head, every second cafe we pass will have it. So a little update for everybody. During my horrific coughing, we think I've pulled a muscle because I'm in a lot of pain in my ribs. Thanks, Rach. Didn't even get a tattoo on my ribs, but I got this bad boy. Hey, we're hardcore besties now. This is really good. We're besties, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really focused on my cycle. I'm more focused on the coffee right now. Oh, yeah. This has coffee also. Fantastic. All right. Fantastic. Awesome. Let's right. go get this. Ooh. Breakfast is served. That's like a fat acai bowl as well. And my coffee has arrived. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm officially back home from my holiday with Roach and Ears. I'm just on my bed editing this weekly vlog and I just want to say I had an absolute last of a weekend i hope you guys enjoyed coming along and i hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of a break from all the training that's been going on mainly obviously because of sickness and injury but yeah just coming along for the holiday something a little bit different i do want to quickly say i had a call with, with finn my coach when i got home gave him a little bit of an update and he is amazing and he was like don't stress don't panic and i was like i'm panicking he's like let's just take it easy this week again do what we can not push pace like just take it chill and fingers crossed we'll be good to go by the weekend because yeah sunday onwards we've got we've got to get like head down like the next three and a bit weeks are like the most crucial intense part of my training block before the marathon so i'm really like fingers crossed i get better over the next couple days and whatever I've done, pulling a muscle, coughing. I hope that improves as well. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the weekly vlog here. Again, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. We do all the things together here. And just a reminder, I am raising money for Endometriosis Australia. So please, if you'd like to donate, the link is in the description box below. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in next week's weekly vlog. Bye.